All right, back on the Sportsmax zone, Sportsmax.tv broke news early on Friday that a Jamaican male sprint hurdler tested positive for a banned substance and is facing a provisional suspension from the sport. And then, on Friday afternoon, Ronald Levy confirmed himself as the athlete, posting this on Instagram. Early last month, I was tested out of season. I expect it to be negative on that test like I have been on every test I have ever taken throughout my career. I was surprised to receive a letter on November 2, 2023 by the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission of an adverse analytical finding. I have decided to take the option to have my B sample tested of which I await the results. I am stunned at the turn of events because I have always conducted myself with the highest level of integrity in the sport which I dearly and would never seek to gain an unfair advantage. I intend to defend my integrity during this process because I am certain I did not knowingly breach the rules. Out of respect for the process, I will not comment further until the process is concluded. Ronald Levy posting that earlier on Friday after news broke that he had tested positive for a banned substance, Lance and Ryan. Just to put some context to this conversation before I bring you guys in, um, and for those who um, don't know Ronald Levy, this is a young man that won the 2018 Commonwealth Games title. He won a bronze medal at the Olympic Games in the 110 hurdles in Tokyo, um, held in 2021, Tokyo 2020. He has won three national titles in the 110 meter hurdles and yeah, he is a decorated sprint hurdler. Last represented Jamaica at the World Indoor Championships in 2022 following his uh, um, success at the Olympic Games, but got injured, um, did not compete outdoors in 2022. In 2023, he ran three and a half races, incidentally, at 100 meters and three races in the 110 herders did not compete at the Jamaican Championships because he was hurt at the time of the championships. He has had a number of injury setbacks throughout the course of his career, but when he has been fit, um, he has proven to be among the very best hurdlers in the world. Yeah, what I took from that is one, the use of the word knowingly. Mm -hmm. uh, in his post saying that, you know, he can defend his integrity Ricardo and Lance because he knows to the best of his knowledge that he did not take any substance knowingly and for me it just brings back memories of other cases where you know athletes take let's just say medication for cold and cough and th these are just examples from previous cases that would have cropped up from my time covering the sport. So many a times when the sample tests positive, it's not like the athlete willingly went across and took some drugs that they, they, they know would have test, come back um, with a positive test. But sometimes they innocently take, let's just say, a tablet for headache or cold. Sometimes, I, I remember in one particular case, a kid's cough syrup, um, one of their child's cough syrup, and it, it brought back, of course, a positive test. So those are the two things that stood out for me. One, that he is willing to defend his integrity, and that's important, especially if he knows that you did nothing wrong. And the, the use of the word knowingly. He didn't knowingly breach <clears throat> the rules. Yeah, you know, I always find it difficult to comment on, on these A sample testings. Um, of course, the confirmed um, guilt verdict comes after the... the the, the B sample is also tested, which, which he has asked for. And it is normal for athletes to protest and uh, claim their innocence in situations like this. So he has taken a path that we have seen many times before. I am not going to sit here on the Sportsmax Zone and judge Ronald Levy. I don't know him personally. Uh, but I also know that there are times that athletes get into trouble unknowingly. And um, this is what he's saying on, on his behalf. Um, based on the category of the drug that the adverse analyti analytical, analytical finding has come up positive for, it is a, a drug that would cause him, if the process goes through, to find him guilty uh, a lengthy ban, probably four years. And he's now 31 years old. I'm not too sure, you know, if there is much of a recovery from, for him 
if it is that um, you know he's he's found guilty and his B sample comes up positive as well. But another unfortunate uh, doping um, story here, and um, we just have to see how this one plays out. Yeah, I note he did not name the drug in his. Um, social media post, and I don't want to speculate too much about it. I've seen a drug reported elsewhere, but I, I know with these cases you always have to be careful because sometimes you can see something reported um, and we haven't independently verified that. So I don't want to go into that. Um, and he hasn't named it, and I suspect um, we will get confirmation of what it is in the coming days. Um, and I understand where Mariah is going with the, the use of the word knowingly. Um, and uh, I, I believe Ronald Levy when he says he did not knowingly, but ultimately the case, he's going to have to prove that. And uh, when he goes in front of a tribunal, um, they will be looking at a little bit more than that. But also, um, a lot of what this will come down to is the category that the drug falls in. Because in my experience, the length of the ban and how um, it is deemed when it goes in front of a tribunal is heavily dependent on the category of drugs. So if you are talking about um, performance enhancing drugs, then usually um, you are looking at the maximum um, ban. In, in this case, as a first time offense, I suspect would be four years. Um, if it is a masking agent, then similar situation. When you get down now to stimulants, then that's where you start to see a lot of the reductions. And if you're talking about a drug um, that falls under the category of going against the spirit of the sport, um, then quite often as well you can see significant reductions um, if that is the type of drug. So we'll just have to wait and see um, what the drug is and what category it falls in. And at this stage we can only wish Ronald Levy all the best as he goes through this process. So let's leave that there for today. I'm sure we'll be chatting more about this come next week. But for now, we'll take a break. When we return, it will be time for Interactive, and you'll be seeing the nominations for the Sportsmax Glass Moment.